coming in with a great t-shirt too i love that i know right yeah i i, I think i said something but I, I think we were all speaking over each other yeah that's the problem with the yeah. the, the current situation of like we, we do these interviews by this but you really have to kind of patiently wait for your turn to talk sometimes so it doesn't get lost <laughs> in the noise it's just like life really <laughs> yeah. dropping truth bomb straight away i love that <laughs> well dude thanks for taking the time to hang out man no problem i appreciate you doing this with the time difference i know it's probably early over there right now right it's not that early it's okay we've just gone eight o'clock in the morning so it's, it's oh, that's okay. a pretty okay. regular nice. time for me we're, we're all right are you a morning or a night good person? good good awesome uh when i'm home i'm a morning person on tour you don't see me till like one or two in the afternoon <laughs> I'll just be, is that hard to not, adjust? No, no, no. It, you know, it's not even really anything other than I just kind of catch up on sleep on tour because nobody really needs anything from me until those hours anyway. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah. there's no sleep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> not too much call for guitar solos, you know, around eight in the morning, nine in the morning. If you ever want to come and drop a guitar solo around here, we will not complain. I'll allow it. Okay, what right. a way to start Fair that giving you mind your wake up a lot you just shred i'm not sure my wife will love that but that'll be all right yeah exactly yeah yeah it's uh it must be although i have friends when they have a tour and like pick their morning people they're normally up like six seven getting at it and then you go on tour and all of a sudden you don't get back into bed until after midnight every night it must be a hard transition yeah. like back and forth your body's constantly out of whack man I mean, the only thing that's hard about touring really is getting sick. And that's it. I mean, if <sighs> these days at the, 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 uh, with the luxuries that we've been afforded, it's like, I, I, you know, I, it, I can't, I can't complain at all because I, you know, I, I went in some 41, we were on the bus, you know, and flying overseas and stuff like that left some 41 went back into a gmc van yeah. and you know, had the chance to re-experience that so i'll never call it hard work yeah. just confirm me like yeah. okay cool this does suck i was yeah. right yeah. back back to <laughs> yeah, where yeah, we're doing yeah. it with that <laughs> exactly uh look i, I won't with that further do you want to talk about the the new album the double album uh yeah. what an undertaking congratulations it's fucking sick. Thank you. It's so the Thank poem you, is so man. good. Uh, I I actually I I couldn't believe it, and and uh, I'm I'm really glad that every single one of us in the band was like separately. By the way, this is the odd thing about this is that Derek had a phone call with every single person in the band, and without prompting or leading or anything like that, we all saw how much music there was, how much we liked the demos we had heard. And we were like, well, why don't we just make that double album that we've kind of talked about, you know, every once in a while, yeah. but just never had the time or the uh, the material to do it. I guess if you if you're going out, you may as well go out in style, a lot of style. That's what, and then that's wild. We thought that this was just going to be the next record, and then once we once we heard that um, that you know Derek was feeling like this may not be for him, um, you know. 30 years later with no rest, you know what I mean? It, it's bound yeah. to wear on something. So yeah, yeah, man, we, we, yeah, we, we got here and we, we got this, this record done and thank you, man. I, I'm glad you like it. It's not, it's not just me too. Like that's not just me blowing smoke. I've been a fan of the band since day dot, which is so it's, it's really cool to see the consistency and being able to just continue to release this like super high quality music that sounds exactly like the band, but with progression. But the fans seem to love it too, like all the fans. I haven't seen anyone being like, eh, not really into this anymore. Like all the comments and all the videos we've done has been overwhelmingly positive. That must feel good to see that, being like, okay, cool. We've still got some relevance. People are still into it. It's, yeah, it it, it actually makes the, um, this is going to sound weird, but it makes the decision to to stop things feel better. You know what I mean? Instead right. of going like, instead of reading, instead of reading comments like "Good, see you later," you guys really should have done this like two albums ago. It's it's really nice to see this, and uh, especially you know like when my my stepkids are in a, a deep sleep, just going to the room and be like, "Look, I am cool. Do you see this? Do you see mm -hmm. this? I'm yeah. Actually, 
So I'm justified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all we're doing it for just now so the kids get the approval yeah. <laughs> there we go there we go yeah it's uh it, that is what's been one of my questions so I'm, you've kind of already addressed it but does that mm. was it a bittersweet thing of being like cool like we've got so much music that we're let's get this recording done and then having that conversation of hey look i think it's time to call it was that a unanimous thing was that something that, that there was any like oh let's discuss this first or was it no nah, i think this if you're feeling that way we're all feeling that way once we once we understood that one of us wasn't um wasn't feeling like they could put their their full effort into it and and feel it the way we all do it's unanimous it doesn't it doesn't matter we never wanted to be one of those bands that um continues under under the name sum 41 and and we just we don't have a good lineup going you know what yeah. I mean? it, it all the lineup always the band would always continue on if somebody could take over for the person leaving and i th i think that the the void that derek leaves it's just it's too big absolutely yeah. too big and um i've had such a good time being back in the band with you know who is one of my not only the person that i have the best rapport with musically it, just one of my oldest and dearest friends yeah i love that yeah it man. was uh when you came back it was there was like a, a palpable sense of excitement from the community the music community being like oh they're back which must have been it, nice on you did you feel that you know i when me, me myself i just feel so wrapped up in the um in the the i guess the job you'd call it it's not really a job but i i, I just feel so wrapped up in what i have to get done and how i have to get there sure that there's little moments like it, the wildest story about this whole thing that kind of puts it all ties it all together was when we played the alternative press awards and we did a, uh, a duet with um, DMC and then it was my reintroduction to playing with the band. So I came out for the Into Deep solo, saw the seats in the arena like empty down and this isn't our crowd, right? This is literally like an award show crowd. Yeah. So it's just like, and people are just running down to the floor. Um, I looked like a stud because I had just starting, I just started dating uh, the same lady I'm with now. She leaned over and she's like, oh my God, that's my boyfriend. Lady next to her is like, yeah, mine too. And, we, and just saw <laughs> this beautiful man of the people exodus from the sides. It was, it was just so cool, man. It was so cool. And um, it what really kind of to come back. Yeah, it put that moment into perspective um, about um, being appreciated and, you know, all those years in the basement, in my room, just head up against the stereo trying to figure out Iron Maiden riffs. It's like those moments like those really, uh, really vindicate those. Yeah, you just touched on something there that's going to, man, my question's going to be just all over here, so bear with me. But Painted Black all being good. on the new record, just when you said Maiden, made me think, being like, didn't expect to see a cover in there. <laughs> Who's no, neither did that? I. Was, was, that, that, was that a Derek? Call? I didn't even see. I didn't even see the tracks for that one. So that was all Derek. Derek was Derek loves the Stones. I think he's okay, seen. Cool. He has probably seen the Stones more times than some of the actual Rolling Stones. So he, <laughs> he, he remembers like, more than they do too. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, right. But uh, yeah, so he he came out with this cover and. I was like, of course, this has to happen. Like that, that's okay. just, that's the way. Yeah. So he was like, if yeah. So I didn't really cover. find out. Oh, if I was to pick a cover. Yeah. And... I know that's a massive hard question, but yeah, I, I imagine yeah. there's something I mean, a bit more shred leaning. I mean, there's so many things. I mean, just the other day I was, I was driving around the car. I was like, oh, you know, Saturday night's all right for fighting. That'd be a fun song to cover too. That's a bang out. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah right? it's just yeah absolutely so can't go wrong with Elton John yeah true true one a, a true talent that I don't think will ever ever uh be repeated yeah Ab you're absolutely right and with the longevity and yeah, just man. like the scope of music too it wasn't like this is the thing that he played and did this thing really well it was everything it was just like from yeah. honky-tonk to rock and roll to ballads it was just all there 
Yeah, and apparently him and his dude have uh, have property like a couple towns over from us. Where are you guys? Uh, we're we're just outside of Toronto, so I'm I'm going to be on a on a dinghy with binoculars, just trying to spy me some Elton. You, you want to, I can give you a little uh, name drop here. So I'm actually friends with Dave, his husband. <laughs> oh, like, nice, dude. That's genuinely, awesome. yeah. He yeah, hit man. me up when they when they were out for like the farewell <laughs> tour and was like, "Hey, I'm in town. I follow you on Instagram. Do you want to get coffee?" And so I got to like, and he's the nicest dude in the world. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that you actually get to become friends and hang out because he's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Just, just tell him that the the dude in the scuba suit and the binoculars that means no harm. Don't worry, he's just lovely. Saying. He just wants to get a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. So, talk to me. I want to know from the new record. Have you got a favorite track? What stands out for you? Do you are you someone that leans towards the more metal stuff, or do you like where the pop punk stuff's at? I know it's picking a favorite child, but I, you know I. I love the pop punk stuff because um, the I've always I, my my core taste because I was raised on um, things like reggae and uh, and you know like old old ska and stuff like that. The uh, I always love us there when there's a simplicity to yeah, okay. a catchy. So I do love the pop punk stuff. Uh, I was just playing it today. I would probably say there's a song called "I Can't Wait." on uh on the uh the heaven side that i absolutely love uh was having a blast playing that today and then i don't need anyone uh, i was having a lot of fun with the solo on that one today i don't need anyone's yeah. favorite track so i'm really glad you called that one yeah Thank yeah so I, yeah with those yeah with that solo lick with some of those solo licks i got to sneak in a few notes that i don't usually uh get to play so yeah that was <laughs> it's was, it was kind of cool it's yeah. i feel like this album has as I said before, it still sounds very Sum 41 e. That's now I'm, I'm I'm making that an adjective. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. it's it you know, there's still newness and freshness to it. Like it doesn't sound like it's recycling. Oh, it's just exactly what we've done before. There is excitement. Mm -hmm. Exactly like so that that song is one for me that stood out because it sounds like you guys, but there's some like elements in it that, that are unique and new. Where's the thought pattern of like how much you're actually gonna get to play these live? Because ending on a double album. I know you've got some tours coming up, but is that a bittersweet thing? Well, of course it's bittersweet, but I mean, being able to play the whole new record, first of all, that's a lot of songs to learn and with not a lot of room left in the brain. Yeah, yeah. So we've learned about seven or eight that we can, um, that we won't play, we won't play seven or eight in one set, but we just have them in the arsenal in order to to throw them in um we don't run um a sequenced show I, I don't know if you know what that means i so, watched yeah i watched i both last year when you were out with offspring so was it yeah, so, in sydney yeah yeah so i mean there's a there's a show we we have a set list that we always uh stick to as a core and sometimes we'll just throw songs in and and because we don't have anything like like uh pro tools playback or computer playback yeah. we're able to just randomize and switch on a dime because you know sometimes that set doesn't work you know you're in kansas city missouri you realize you got to heavy things up a little bit sure and sure. yeah but um <laughs> not one didn't work just would change it for night yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly so i mean it to answer your question it, it is bittersweet not being able to play everything but at the same time i think we we get to do a greatest hits of the latest record Cool. Yeah, that's a great way to come at it. Also, with yeah. the amount of hits that you guys have had over the years, you can't not play them. Like, you can't be like, no, I just want to play the new stuff because people would be so angry if you don't play all the other songs they want to hear. Yeah. They're already going to be angry because they're missing some. But yeah, we got we to gotta cater to new and old and, and uh, everybody in between too, right? So yeah, there's, there's some people where, you know, if, if we don't, people keep on calling out for this song called Newts, which every time i see the sign in the crowd i forget that it exists i mean that's surely that's just because you've got a lot of good music out there right that's yeah, not we'll just see. a we'll see. it's not a it's not a good song it's just you've got a lot of songs there <laughs> that's a beautiful compliment thank you well you know it's it's, it's it's a genuine thing this was something that johnny's bummed he couldn't be here by the way he's in japan right now so he's having a good time but he would have loved to go to come oh yeah yeah 
we we have been fans of you guys for a very long time. It's a it's a really nice thing to take the time to talk this, particularly with the new album, because we are so stoked on it. I want to talk about, and if you can, what's next for you personally, and maybe band wise, what's cause it's it's a big wide future for you now. I mean, personally, um, I've got things on the go, things like doing voiceover work, um, you know, maybe possibly getting into a little bit of acting. But I mean, for the most part, music is is the thing that I've I've done for decades and and, you know, I've gotten to be able to to be good enough to do. So there's always going to be some sort of aspect like that. My tastes are all over the map. So it's if I if I do something with um collaborative with other people, it'll definitely include you know the rest of the guys in Sum 41. You know, sure. it, it won't be called Sum 41, but I mean I would love to just continue making music with everybody. I just we maybe we we're not in the uh the band together. So Yeah, I like that. I also like I think that's a really cool thing of being like very musketeers, like all for one, one for all. And if it's not that, it's something different. I think that's a great thing. I think it can be disappointing yeah. when a band comes back and it's the same name, but just not the same band. So honoring yeah, the legacy. I think, yeah, I think we just have a, we have a deeper understanding of how hard it is to find the chemistry that we have. Yeah. And um, it, it's, it's very rare. It really, really is. I, I've tried time and time again with uh, bands outside of Sum 41 and, Although they're beautiful projects and I love the people with them, um, this is literally something where we have been playing off of each other since 1994. Yeah. Like just in class and then eventually in a band together. And yeah. So there's just a, the understand, the, the connection is completely understandable. Well, that's cool. Well, hey, here's to the yeah. future. Dude, thank you for taking the time to hang out. As I said, oh, not blowing smoke, genuinely, Heaven and Hell is is a triumph and you should be very, very proud to end on that note. Uh, thank you very much, man. And Nathan, I appreciate you taking the time. Please tell Johnny we're sorry we missed him, but hopefully we'll see him in, uh, in Oz when we're there. Can't wait. All right. Legend. Thanks, man.